In honor of Scream 6 debuting this weekend, let's take a look at a compilation of my Scream themed treats. Hi there, footy friends. My name is Carly and welcome back to my channel, Adventures in Yeah. First up, we have the Scream 5 mini cake. Of course, we completely coat the base in black buttercream and then we do little black dollops on top and then a basic border with black buttercream on the bottom as well. And then for the top, we finished off with some candy melt ghost faces as well as number fives made out of candy melts because it was for Scream 5 last year. And then to finish it all off, we have a knife made out of candy melts as well. I didn't do the exact same knife that Ghostface uses in the movies, but I have a mold that makes it a lot easier to make it, so that's what I used for this one. Next up, we have the Bloody Knife Cookie Pop. For this cookie pop, we start by taking a popsicle stick with a little bit of candy melts and sticking it in there. Once that sets, we're dipping it and completely coating it in the white candy melts. And then before this sets, we're adding black sugar sprinkles and also some red food gel mixed with a little bit of extract and kind of flicking it on there. So it kind of looks a little bit like blood splatter. And then we're adding a little bit extra candy melts and adding our candy melt knife. And then we're using some red food gel to make it look like realistic blood on the knife. And that's our complete cookie pop. Of course, we can't forget the franchise within the franchise. Here's a stab cupcake. For this cupcake, I used some candy melts to make a basic stab logo. And then I decided to do a simple swirl of buttercream, but then I kind of changed direction. So I squished it down onto some parchment paper and then ended up dipping that in some black sugar sprinkles once it was nice and flat for a flat base. And then we carefully stuck our candy melt stab logo on there. And this one is complete. This is probably one of my top favorite ones because of the reference to the movie within the movie. Next up, we have this blood splattered Scream 5 cookie. This one is super simple. We take a stick of shortbread cookie, completely coat it in white vanilla melting wafers, and then add Scream 5, because this was made during Scream 5. Then we take some red food gel mixed with some extract and flick it on there to make it look like kind of like splattered blood. And then once everything is set, we add some candy melts all around the side and dip it in black sugar sprinkles to make a black sugar sprinkle border to finish this off. What's a movie experience without some popcorn? Here is some cookies and scream popcorn. For this one, I'm not going to go into very much detail because I actually put together a full tutorial video last year when Scream 5 came out when I first made this, and you should definitely go check it out. It is linked in the description, and it was delicious. Before we look at the rest of our Scream themed treats, if you don't want Ghostface to get you, then make sure to hit that like button, click subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified about my latest video. Next up, we have one of our more recent treats, Scream Hot Chocolate Bombs. Once again, not gonna go into a lot of detail on this one either because this one also has a full tutorial video that is linked in the description. This one was a lot of fun, a little bit frustrating, but definitely really fun to make, so make sure to go check it out. And last but certainly not least, we have a cookies and scream milkshake with blood caramel. This milkshake was so simple, but so delicious. About a quarter cup of milk or so, about four scoops of vanilla bean ice cream, and then six Oreos blended all together. It was so delicious. And of course, got to top it with some whipped cream and some Oreo pieces. And of course, I had to line the cup with some blood caramel drip because this is the Scream franchise after all. It is a slasher icon. You can't have a slasher without a little bit of gore. If you're interested in checking out some of the products I used in this video, then please make sure to check out that video description below for some of their Amazon links. Thank you so much for joining me today, foodie friends. I'll see you next time for another yummy adventure.